Hi, I'm Doug with Emergency Plumbing Service out of Delaware, Ohio. Uh, today I'm just going to give you a quick tutorial on how to change a flapper. Uh, now there's many different kinds of flappers. We got this standard, this is your standard flapper. Basically these are both standard. This is an American standard flapper. This is just a generic blue flapper that we use all over the place. Now you have a lot of different toilets out there so it's not all going to be the same and if you if you want a request on how to a, a different kind of toilet, just put a comment in the comment section and we'll help you out. But So to get started, uh, we want to come in here and we want to shut the water off at the valve. Now these are push and pull style valves down here. Um, they're not my favorite and if I had my choice I would take it out and replace it. But So to, to, to shut off the water on these valves, you're going to want to use two hands and it's either a push or a pull. This one is a pull. So you pull it to shut it off. You want to take, take the tank to the toilet off. Make sure you set this on the ground. Don't set it up on the edge of the toilet or on the sink because inevitably you're going to knock it off. So always set it on the ground. You want to flush this and get all the water out of, out of the inside. After you get it flushed, it's very, very simple. Um, you'll pull, pull the flapper off of the flush valve right here. So that's the flapper. It looks pretty bad. Probably needed replaced. This toilet in particular had a little leak um, that would cause the fill valve to fill back up. So the flapper was letting the water leak out. So we'll set this down on our rags and we'll grab the new flapper. So this is going to be the replacement. It's very important that if you have one of these little yellow floats that you replace it with one that has a float like that. Uh, some of them come with blue, but this one uh, replaces this. It's, it's very specific for how the toilet flushes. <clears throat> and we want to set that float about the same as the old one. So you see these little holes in it, those those will attach right on the side of the fill valve. If you look down in there you can see the tabs that they're going to connect to. One there and one there. And then you want to you want to adjust your chain length. So hopefully pop this out. There we go. I like to clip it into the handle first and then I'll you want it to be kind of tight not too tight so it's pulling up on that flapper but you'll just kind of measure it put your finger on it pull this thing back up and snap it in place um, and that's it you turn your water back on and let it fill now if you look at this old one it has a chain and one of the one of the really important things when you do these so you'll, you'll do it the same exact way, you unclip it, and then mark it and put it back on. But in this case, if the chain is too long, you want to make sure that you cut it off because you don't want it to get underneath that edge of that flapper. A lot of times that happens, so you just cut that chain off where you need it and you won't have any problems. After you're done, let the toilet fill up, open the valve back up. We'll let the toilet fill up and then we'll check to make sure there's no leaks. So this you might want to skip. Okay, so once the toilet's filled up, you want to check and make sure that the fill valve shuts off okay. If if the water level gets up over top of this overflow tube, you're gonna have to adjust the water on the fill valve. And in another video, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Um, the other thing you want to check for is you want to just give it a minute, maybe mark with a pencil right at the top of the water line right there, and just kind of wait and see if the water goes down at all. Another way to check is you open up the open up the lid here and look down in here. And I don't know if you can see this or not, but we have some streams of water coming down. So those streams of water, if they if they don't stop, you know that that flapper is not working. So we just put a new flapper in, and there might be a defect in it, or we got you know we need to get a different flapper or whatever it is if that doesn't stop um, so those are just some things you need to know when you change your flapper and 
that'll get you that'll get you by. And that's all.